I'm going to do a little experiment. So disclaimer, he's never done this before. However, he's very familiar with the curriculum. Okay, so when we uh, train the curriculum, the book of Anastasia and Khalid, hypothetically, you should be able to train with anyone, right? So the P2P, like I said, becomes a language of its own. So let's say I was from across the world, I didn't speak a word of English, right? I should be able to communicate enough for me and Tyrone to have a good training session if we both uh, speak the same to P2P. Because our four count might be different than someone else's four count, or maybe they don't have a four count to begin, right? But we train the same, hey, look, we're in the same shirt. Okay? So I'm just going to use body language. Now, I'm going to use some common body language, like or, okay? but, the, but I'm going to do the whole thing without saying anything. Okay? So, I literally just made that up with Tyrone, but I was just using curriculum, right? So, <laughs> that was my tap, gave him some caps. And you see sometimes, like, I'm pretty sure I, I messed up the pattern, but we, we still stay with it, right? Um, but what ended up happening was, I didn't have to say anything to him, and we were able to communicate. Not just because we understand X pattern, four count single stick, four count double stick, and uh, the eight, right? I, I would have said eight like this, but I only had one hand to use. But he can get the idea because of the body language I'm giving him when I'm actually training. I'm doing it at a speed where we can talk and he can see the angle and recognize. Look, in to p to p we're doing the exact same thing at the exact same time. We've established that there's a leader and a follower right now. So if I say four and I do this, and he's going to go, oh, he means eight. But he's only using the, the second half of it. And then just by, make, just by looping it, we created a new drill. We literally made it without even speaking to each other. But we were able to train. So what that ended up doing is taking basic to P to P curriculum, and we we're able to create something new to challenge ourselves, right? And we didn't even have to say anything. So that helps us understand the start and stopping point of the drill, and understands how we can put things together to create a, a new combination, which ultimately brings you the skill of application. Where I decide if I'm using my right hand, my left hand, if I'm doing a double stick technique, I can always decide how I'm going to follow up because I'm aware of where I am without losing the flow of application. I can't just stop and think, hmm, I feel like using my left hand today. Right? We're just using it to be, to be the structure, the curriculum, to illustrate that. But eventually, your job, when you get to a black sash level, is to take the curriculum and put it together the way that you want. I don't have to show you how to put things together anymore. You just have to do it in a way that makes sense for you. Right? You have to be able to validate why you put it that way. But if I ask you know, a pre-sash or a yellow sash to put it together, you're like, 
I don't really know yet. I don't really know how drills work. I don't really know the thought process of how to see things, right? And you'll see later on when I'm talking about when like, I'm training you right now not on the skill of being able to slash and snap. That's a prerequisite. I'm training you on the skill to view things in groups so that something as, as, as intimidating as 24 counts of to B2P, there's only really five different drills. And so when you look at it, it's not so bad. But if I didn't train you to do that, you'd be like, holy crap, what the hell are they doing? Right, so that's how to B2P can like broaden the horizon of you training. And it's a good way to teach to the masses. That way we learn how to speak that particular language. The diff that's like the difference between private training, which is the way Kali was normally taught, and like group training, which we're able to do. Not a lot of people can do this because they don't know how to speak a language that's common to everybody. Right? But if I teach you one-on-one, -on -one, I can make you the greatest martial artist ever because my intention is all on you. So it's good to have both. It's good to have a partner that you've never trained with before that you can speak a common language. And it's good to have a partner who's either very experienced or you have a lot of chemistry with already. Right? But that also plays into application. I want to be able to vibe with anyone. I want to be able to read and, and, and get a, a, an idea of who this person is no matter what sash they wear or, or whatever. If they have a stick and we are under the agreement without it being said that we're either training, fighting, or sparring, whatever it might be, that I can get a feel of what, who they are, what they do, what they like, what they're good at, what they're bad at. Does that make sense? Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay.